So here now I logged into the management console. So let us start exploring console options. What are all we have in the management main console? Suppose currently I am in the IAM services at any point of the time. If you want to switch back to the management console, so you have this AWS smiley icon, right? So you can click this icon. So this icon uh, will bring you back to the management console, whichever the console you are in, right? So it will directly bring you back to the management console. So this is a home button like, okay? And then services options. So this services option will list all the services. Those are available in AWS. There are a number of services and sub services as well. So here, if you see, there are some categories of services. So all the services are not listed completely. Right? So you can see they are segregated at some particular headings. So one is compute services. Under compute, you have different services, EC2 instance, like say Lambda, Batch, Elastic Beans, and all this. Under container, you have different set of services. Storage, you have different set of services. Database, you have different set of services. Migration. So among these, we are not going to read everything. We are not going to see all the services. Don't get panic, okay? So these are almost 100 plus 200 services will be there here, okay? We are not going to deal all the services because AWS is a vast technology. It has a lot many services. So depending on the path that you are choosing, you're going to use in the services. Understood? Yes. Example, if you are planning for AWS uh, based machine learning, then uh, these are the services that they will be discussing. Suppose if you are planning for a developer type of course, then it will be this. This set of services along with the services that we are learning. And if you are uh, more in towards the security at all, so there will be security based services here. So if you remember, uh, I was uh, showing you some um, certification slide, right? So what are the different uh, certification tracks that we want to see? And all? Let me open it back for you guys. Yeah. So if, if someone wants to do some specialization with networking or security or machine learning, right? Big data, they have their own separate skill set. So what we are targeting here is a solution architect. Okay, so for solution architect, as I shown you all the services, right? So related to compute, what are the services, network, what are the services, storage, what are the services, database, right? Security and compliance management. So we will be choosing a particular set of services that we are needed. Okay. And at any any point of time, if you don't find because here lot many services are there and you don't know the particular service that you are searching doesn't which uh, that, that falling under which category, then the simplest way is to take the help from the search bar. So here, suppose I want to explore directory services. So you can search from here. You will be able to list all the names that are matching and you can select the directory services, right? So if you are not able to find the service directly from this console, obviously you will sometimes get confused where it actually falls under. I don't know whether my service falls under database or storage, whatever it is. So irrelevantly, you can start searching it from the search bar here. That will populate you the service. And yes. you can open the service and start accessing that service. This is the functionality of the search bar here, okay? Yes. I'm moving towards your right. The icon here, it shows the command line which is a shell, cloud shells, okay? So here, uh, before uh, discussing about this uh, cloud shell, so I need to make sure, you know, uh, you guys are uh, knowing that accessing AWS is happening totally in three ways. So you can access AWS totally three ways. So, so the first one is management console. Management console. Which GUI based means the graphical user interface, the one that we log in. So from this console, whatever the console I'm logged in, from this console I can manage the AWS, correct? Mm -hmm. So the other option is through CLA. And we call it as AWS CLA. What is CLA stands for? Right? What is CLS stands for? Command line, command line interface. Okay. So, command, command yeah, line. command line interface. Command line interface. Okay. So, mm -hmm. AWS CLI. So, AWS CLI is a small uh, installable package on your laptop or a desktop or any other server mm -hmm. through which 
you will start accessing the aws resources from uh, by executing the commands which will be equivalent to cmd so have i think you guys might have tried executing the cmd uh, console and all right in windows yes sometimes so suppose if i want to open notepad how do i open notepad i will go to search yes. bar and type in notepad and i will open the notepad like this the other yes. way is i will just come to the command and then type in notepad that will open me notepad if i want to open calculator clc it will open a calculator for me mm -hmm. so similarly this is just like command you are executing the commands by uh, and by executing the command you are able to access the services right similarly in aws as well so you can use aws cli like command line utility tool which will be, which will be used for accessing your aws services mm -hmm. okay. and the third option third option is called sdks or api calls so what is an sdk any no, idea I any guess? no okay sdk stands for software development kit don't worry we are not going to do any development here and uh, <laughs> we don't access much with the sdks as well so this is basically targeted for the developers Suppose a developer is trying to then uh, create an application by writing the code and all. Example, mm -hmm. he is trying to develop an application with Python language. Okay, so he will be writing some functionalities of the coding and all. And uh, in between, if he wants to access AWS account, then he will be using this SDKs. Uh, okay. okay. Yes. So when, what is API? Program, application program interface. Application program interface. Yeah application program interface so I, I can't write much here but yeah api stands for application programming interface so people used to call the services through api calls so mm. that is also possible through if you are using a sdks okay mm. so as this as we are not going to explore much in this layer because uh, we are not the developers but one or two examples i will show you and i will give you assignment as well how to do that through the programming but don't worry you don't need to code it i will share you the code just to read the code and then follow the steps okay yeah. Yeah. so yeah these are the three ways that we can connect or access the aws account so now management console we have already seen how to access it correct yes log into the console and then uh, start exploring the console the second one is command line interface so this is the question now so we are in this topic so how do i access through the command and what are all the options that i have uh, uh, to access the environment through the command line interface. So one is, as I said, you can install some software on your laptop or desktop. So there will be a small installable package for AWS CLI. You can install it in your laptop or desktop. Suppose if you are not provided with any permissions like you can. So for CLI, so there are multiple options for you to do uh, access AWS account through CLI. The first one is you can install it in your laptop or desktop, provided if it is your personal, you can use install directly. Suppose if it is office based laptop, you may need to request your local ITS teams. Mm. Or else uh, sometimes you will be provided permissions to access uh, to install some of the authorized applications. Mm. In that time, maybe this will be added for your to access and install it. Pretty simple, straightforward. And this is one way of accessing the CLI. The other way is through the web based console only. Like in the management console, you have an option that is the cloud shell. This is the one. Okay. Mm. So when you open this in the cloud shell, so AWS is going to create a small EC2 instance in the backend for you, and it will start you know, setting up the required things for you, and it will give you the command line. Oh, okay. So it will install all. So this is going to be a small uh, command line, like similar to that what we see here, right? The command prompt. Mm -hmm. Similarly, yeah. we will get a, a shell command from the Linux-based operating system. Mm -hmm. It's going to take little time. And once this is done, from here, I can start accessing my AWS account. Mm. So which one is better, like um, using CLI after installing uh, software or uh, doing it from the web? Uh, I don't uh, prefer doing it from the web unless you don't have option to log into the through the uh, client installing your machine. Oh, OK. So 90% of the time, it will be good for us to because obviously, see, now I log into the car shell and this is available for me. To AWS. Uh, let me see the version which is installed. CLI version.
<coughs> so AWS CLI version 2.1. So version is also uh, one component that you should understand. I will discuss about that in the upcoming sessions. But yeah, currently I am installed. Uh, is the screen visible? Yes. Let me zoom them better. Yeah. So I just this this comes the cloud shell comes with installation and everything. Okay. So here you can see the cloud shell is uh, already installed uh, with AWS CLI version 2.1. Python is installed and the required components are also installed here. So let us see if I have anything AWS S3 LS. Whether I'm able to access it or not, nothing it is showing up for me currently, right? Mm. So this is a small command. Let me AWS IAM users list. Oh. List. AWS IAM users list. So currently it is not having any users, so I'm not able to see anything. Yeah. You see here in the list of the user section, I don't have, I'm not able to see anything. Let me create a sample user ID and see how I'm able to view that in the cloud console or not, in the cloud shell or not, okay? Yes. So I will quickly create a user. Uh, it is on which they right? Yeah. Um, I'll talk about this shortly. Now, if you see, I just created a user and execute the same command. What it is giving me the output. Like you have so a here, username called Anus. Yeah, so we have a username called Anus and the user ID is uh, key and then the ARN. What is ARN stands for? So we may be using this term ARN many a times. So Amazon resource name, okay. ARN stands for Amazon resource name and pretty simple. Here it has a specific defined uh, syntax. So ARN is Amazon resource name in the AWS account within the AWS account, go to IAM service. IAM is Identity and Access Management Service. Mm -hmm. And the account is, this is the AWS account it has to go. And inside this account, go to IAM user. And within the users, there will be a username Anus. So this is like, a, if you have a folder, a file inside your computer, it will have the path, right? Yeah. So my, my file may be placed inside a C ah. drive, my files, and then there I will have text file dot one, something like that, right? So mm -hmm. this, ARN refers to a path like you can compare it with that. Okay. Oh, okay. So when it got created, so which means now using AWS CLI commands, I am able to access the resources mm -hmm. and even I can start create the users as well. Mm -hmm. Are we okay to explore that as well now? So let me show you and don't worry. Uh, how can I know these commands, right? Your next question may be, right? How do I know this command? Uh, so don't worry. Commands even I too don't remember because there are hundreds of commands, not hundreds, thousands of commands. So I think the last session also did I told you about the cloud uh, commands. Reference document. So you want to use this reference document. And if you see here, these are the different uh, AWS services. Those are available. So if you see here, one of the command I'm using, so every command should start with AWS. And after that, whichever the service you are trying to create. Suppose now I'm executing AWS here, like AWS command, and inside AWS, I'm going to access the service IAM. What is IAM stands for? Identity and Access Management. Exactly, Identity and Access Management, and this is used for creating the users, managing the users console, right? So now yes. I want to create a user. So what should I use? AWS IAM and then inside IAM what should I do so that is what you are uh, you need to navigate if you know up to that you can take the help from directly command itself will give you the help or else the best way is you can directly come here 
search for IAM and here what are all the commands that you can give after IAM. So I want to create a user. So where is create, create, create. Yeah, create user is here. So like this. And this will give you the syntax that you should follow for creating the user. Scroll down to the last, you will see a simple command how to create a user. AWS IAM create hyphen user and then the user name. That is it. Pretty simple and straightforward, right? Mm. So let us see. I'll just copy this. So now I'm going to create a username Bob in your account. Mm. Now what it is saying, username got created. <coughs> Let me go to the console and validate. Currently I have only annuals. Let me refresh the page and you will be seeing a new account, new username as Bob. Oh yes. So this is how you're gonna manage your AWS account through the command line or you can do it same thing through the GUI as well. Now yes. understood the difference? Oh, yep. So normally what do we do? Do we use a command or simply we use the... Uh, that depends on the project. Suppose if your project, if you, and also uh, that depends on you as well. So if you are comfortable in working with commands, you can start using the commands. If you are not comfortable with commands, but what I suggest for you as a starter, first learn how to do the things in the console, then you can execute them in the form of a command. And so that is the reason why I first created this from the GUI and then later I create in the command. First get familiarized with the uh, console. GUI console. Okay. Later, you know, you can start uh, testing them through the command line because command line, it is little vast subject like Mm. because it has multiple options and if you see here i just use it for creating the user only just iam user create so only user i created but if you scroll up a bit and you can see here there are additional things that you can define one is a cli sketch or a json input or permissions boundary so there are additional parameters that you can set to the user while creating the user we have options for uh, setting up the permissions and all if you remember so let's yes. create in the gui so i'm just creating a user here um, auto generate next here it is asking me for permission set and all right mm. so if you want to set these permissions in the command line what should i do that is where you need to define these permission boundaries mm. so first i recommend you to learn the things in the gui and thereafter you start exporting the cli yes okay does it make sense yes yeah so this is about the cloud shell and uh, don't worry i'll be resuming uh, passing this con topic at this point but uh, we will be exporting it in here alternate options as well like the one that we use currently is through the cloud shell so once i'm done with walking through walking you through the command line or walking you through the console i will install the cli inside your laptop as well and from your laptop you can how do you are accessing so commands will be same only thing is how do you set up your aws account uh, to access through the command line is uh, important i will i will teach you that also by the end of today okay uh, yes so any questions uh, not yet. Okay. So if you are not needed this anything, then you can uh, delete AWS Cloud Shell Home Directory and everything. Okay. So this is going okay. to stop your content. Okay. So now I want to move to the main management console here. So clear about the cloud shell. So what is the next symbol? 